Hey guys, we are still in Phoenix, but in a couple days we are heading out to Lake Havasu where we're going to be boondocking for eight nights. And then from there going to Quartzsite to boondock for four more. I'm a little bit nervous because we have a limited water capacity and both Dwight and I, we like to shower every day. So we have a bit of a problem. How are we going to survive 12 nights with limited water? But luckily, I think Dwight has come up with a solution, as he always does. I think he has. Let's turn this camera around and let's take a peek at it. Show us your magic, Dwight. Hey gang, again, thanks for watching today. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, we are full hookup people, so boondocking's not always in our, in our thing. So I created a water pump system so that when we can fill up buckets at a spigot, bring them back to the RV and pump water into our fresh tank. And we're like, have a suit the escapees event and then heading out to quartzite to hang out with traveling on adventures terry and earl awesome people so we need this right so anyway it's a 12 volt system i created right using an rv pump it all starts with a battery a 12 volt battery whether it's your truck whether it's your rv your coach your chassis your truck battery your toad whatever okay so it definitely starts it's a 12 volt system and it's just long long line long 12 volt line here and we're gonna go take a look and see what i've done come on Dwight is always the fixer. You got right. a problem, he'll I, solve it. I will figure it out. Okay, gang, it's a real simple deal. We have to go to a spigot to get water. There's my spigot. I simulated a spigot, right? We have a 12 volt water pump from an RV. I was carrying an extra one in case ours goes out. This is the extra one. What I have done is I've simulated, I filled up three five gallon buckets of water, right? And what I have done is I've taken the 12, the 12 volt pump, ran power to it, with a switch, gotta have a switch because I like switches. Gotta have a switch. <laughs> one one goes down and one part goes down in the bucket. The other part goes into our coach. But as always, it goes through a one micron filter and it also goes through our water softener before it heads into the coach into the fresh filter, fresh water tank. All right. So we have 15 gallons of water. We're gonna start pumping into the RV. All I do, turn on our switch. We are now pumping into the RV. All right. Very cool. So we let this run for a few minutes. This one's done. We'll simulate it being done. All right, we've pumped in five gallons. Shut our switch off. Move it over to this one. Pump the next five gallons in and so on. So that's 15 gallons. Um, and then transporting back and forth from the water fill to the RV, we got bucket lids, you put them on there and you don't make a big mess. So our boondocking will be Excellent. Sharon will be able to shower every day. Yay! I will be able to shower every day. And we'll <laughs> we have un happy. basically unlimited water um, on, on the boondocking trails. So um, hope this helps you guys see what we did here. We appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe. But either way, we just wanted to show you what we did in case it gives you some good ideas. Yep. Great options for boondocking. Yep. So Thank you, Dwight. You're welcome, Sharon. Anyway, you guys have a great day. We appreciate you watching.